Hi everybody, Robert Jones for Installer Parts. Today we're going to talk about the TV corner wall mount for 23 to 55 inch displays. For this install you will need a power drill, a 3 16th inch or 4.5 millimeter drill bit, a metric socket wrench, blue tape, a tape measure, a Phillips screwdriver medium or large, a flathead screwdriver medium or large, a pencil, a level, and a stud finder is very helpful. Open the box and inspect all the products, ensuring that everything is there. Make sure to find the instructions. All right, you guys. Once you've determined approximately where your corner mount is going to go, be sure to check the wall for low voltage wires, water pipes, and electrical conduit. That would not be sexy. In order to find where your stud in the wall is, a stud finder can be very helpful. You simply place it on the wall, push the button, and it helps you to figure out where the stud is in the wall. Once you've determined where the studs are in your wall, go ahead and hold up the rack to the approximate location and mark where the screw holes are. I've done this on this wall and this wall. Finding a stud. Done. Now we're going to drill the pilot holes. We've got our drill bit here. It's 3 16 or 4.5 millimeters. We're now going to drill into the wall 55 millimeters, which is about 2.2 inches. Boom, got it. All right, you guys, inside the box, you're gonna find a bunch of these kind of bolt studs. They can be put into the wall in several different manners. They have a Phillips head if you wanna use a screwdriver. It also comes with this small wrench that you can use. Now, you're going to need six for this. There are more in case you're putting it into masonry or brick, but we're not going to do that installation today. For more information, you can just read the leaflet that's in the box. All right, you guys, it's time to get this up on the wall. I find it easiest. You can either have a friend help you, but if you don't have a friend, you can still do it by yourself. It's not very heavy. So I find if you just put it on your shoulder, line up the holes, you can get the bolt started a little bit. And then in my case, I have a power driver. So I'm just gonna put the bolt in a little bit. Just enough to hold it there until we get to the next bolt. Okay, you guys, let's put the bolt in the other side. Now remember, it's still loose and we want to put the other ones in. So let's get those in and then we'll snug it all down once it's in place. Now that we have all six bolts in the wall, I'm gonna get a level and we're gonna make sure this is level before I do the final tightening. You can see we're on level there and now I'm gonna to tighten to the wall. All right, you guys, all six bolts are in and look, very secure. You can do it. Once you've got your TV mount mounted to the wall and secured, it's time to address the back of your TV. Now I want to show you how this works before we put it on the TV because once I put the TV up here, you're not going to be able to see anything. So in the box, you're going to find a plate like this. You'll notice that here at the top, it has a cutout edge and it also has a concave and a convex side. You want to make sure to put the concave side towards the TV so that the convex side faces this. In other words, you want the innie towards the TV and the outie towards the rack. Choose the proper screws that fit the holes on your TV and test for depth. If the screw bottoms out, you may need to add a wash or two so that they will tighten when putting through the TV mounting plate. If the mounting plate for the back of your TV is not large enough, you may need to add the part B's, or as I like to call them, X-wings. Please take a peek at the instructions before beginning this part of the installation. These X-wings expand the size of the mounting plate from 5.5 inches, or 120 millimeters, all the way out to 22.25 inches, or 565 millimeters, with lots of different sizes in between. Looking here, you can see the various configurations of the X-wings. 
It is important to get the back orientation of the plate correct, as it will make a difference when hanging the TV on the corner mount. The popped out side of the wing has a square hole end and a round hole end. You want the square hold end and you want to orient the popped out tab up so that it matches the three positions in the mounting plate. Push one of the small screws through both holes and align the square part of the shaft with the square hole on the wing arm. Add the nut with the washer side towards the plate and finger tighten it down. With the provided wrench, you can tighten the nut. Feel free to bring your own larger wrench to the party. Continue on making the configuration that is right for your rig. If you find you haven't gotten it quite right, don't worry. You can loosen the nut, adjust the arm, and then retighten. It's quite forgiving. This I'm showing is not necessarily the perfect configuration, but I'm showing that you can see how versatile the X-Wings can be. You're good to go for attaching the mounting plate to the back of your TV. Place the appropriate washers over the holes on the back of the TV. Orient the plate with the half moon cutout in the center facing up. This is important as it will hang in this slot when it's mounted to the wall. Then, with the proper size screws, screw the plate to the TV, being sure to tighten all the screws tightly. Once this piece is mounted to the back of your TV, you simply lift the TV up, push it over the hole, and drop it down. You can see it. It's very strong. One more thing before we get to the TV. Once the plate is mounted here, you'll see that there's a small channel here and a small channel here. Those correspond to a locking nut that will go here and here. This small screw will go in from the back side and secure the plate to the actual wall mount. All right, you guys, we've got the mounting plate on the back of the TV. It's in the right direction with the small cutout facing up. Now we're just gonna turn it around and drop it onto the bar. Boom, and it's in place. Let's get the locking nuts in. Okay, we're just gonna tighten down the screws on the back of the TV once we get it level. And look at that, our TV is secure. Remember the sheath here? You simply put the cord in the middle of that, put it up to the bar, and lock it in place. Your cord is now secure. All right, let's get the TV in place. All right, you guys, our TV is installed. It looks great. It's nice and even. It's level at the top. It's level at the bottom. And of course, it's movable whenever we have company over. Perfect for viewing pleasure. All right, you guys, you should be good to go. Just to recap, we inventoried the items in the box and gathered all the supplies we needed for our installation. We found the studs and marked both walls. And then we pre-drilled the pilot holes. Then we attached the main mounting arm assembly to the wall securing it tightly with the wall screws. We decided if we needed the X wings and attached them accordingly. Then we screwed the mounting plate to the back of the TV itself. We married the TV to the mounting arms on the wall, sliding it down into place. Next came the two securing screws. We plugged the cables in and checked our angle. All in all, this project should only take you about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, you guys, today we talked about how to do the installation to wood studs inside the walls. Should you have masonry or brick, you can refer to the instructions that are in the box. I'm Robert Jones for Installer Parts. Subscribe. More. More. Videos. Dancing. Video. Come on back and subscribe. This YouTube channel can only get better.